here we are, ready for uh, dyno time. We just uh, pulled off the engine stand. We've just got to um, change a few things, a few uh, block off a few water jackets where the heater, heater goes, heater hoses there, and a few bypasses. Put the dynos, temp senders on, and everything. So um, plug up all our vacuum lines because we don't have to run any brakes on the dyno. It's a big engine brake itself. There's the actual dyno cradle there. And we're just going to bolt that in there and run them into here. You can see that's where our exhaust go. Up there. Up and out the roof. And there's a big extractor fan up in here. And that actually draws air into the dyno room. And out. Actually the dyno room runs at about an inch of vacuum. There's all our wiring going up to our main computer board and here we are here we've just pulled a um, supercharged big block Chevy off it and we're going to whack on the 3 out rate so we'll get into um, bolting this up and um, running the cam after we run in the cam that's primarily what we're doing is running in the camshaft uh, because it's got big double valve springs on it, I've only put one spring in and I assemble the heads so it's easier on the cam to run in and once we run the cam in after about 20 minutes around the 2000 uh, RPM mark we'll um, shut it down pull rocker covers off, all the rockers got to come off and um, pump up each cylinder with air hold the valves up and um, put our double springs in and we can um, stretch its legs See how good this puppy can go. So we'll catch you later. That's the 308.